What's going on guys? Welcome back to box number six. This should be the last one. And uh, so far we have one Nicobolus, two Sarkon, one Tezzeret, one Ajani, one Vivian. Those are the important numbers, I believe. So we're looking for two Nicobolus, one Sarkon, and two Tezzeret in this box. I think we can do it. I have a good feeling about it. All right, you guys ready? One Nicobolus has been pretty ridiculous so far. I'm not thrilled in five boxes. But, what can you do? Oh, the taunting is real. First pack, we get the old Nicobolus token. Like you do. And a Liliana's contract. Okay, well, I see how you're going to be Magic the Gathering. Got a Rogue's Gloves, a Diagraph Ghoul, and a Reliquary Tower for the Uncommons. Magic the Gathering. Always a troll. <laughs> Rupture Spire, Arcane Encyclopedia, and another Dryad Green Seeker for the uncommons here. Followed by Palladium Oris number three. Fantastic. Like you do. A Johnny emblem. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Boy, if I could open Planeswalkers and uh, Nicobolises as frequently as I opened their their tokens, I'd be in business. Departed Deckhand, a Reliquary Tower, and Arise from the Grave. Followed by a Cleansing Nova. Oh, a Tezzeret Emblem. Fantastic. So, so far we've opened Nicobolus, a Johnny Emblem, Tezzeret Emblem, Palladium Ores. I can feel it. The trolling is so strong, I can feel it. It's almost coming through the packs. And I got Volcanic Dragon, Gift of Paradise, Leon and Vanguard as our uncommons. If it makes you feel better, I once opened a box of Modern Masters and got Bonfire of the Damned and Tree Temporal. Uh, no, that doesn't make me feel any better. For one, other people's suffering does not ever make me feel better. And for two, I've also opened similarly bad Modern Masters boxes, and those felt miserable. Uh, detection Tower. Followed by a foil prodigious growth, like you do. Four, nope. Enigma Drake, Aegis, and a Reclamation Sage. Followed by Elvish Clan Caller. I have a good feeling about one Tezzeret and one Nicobolus in this box. That's my feelings. Positive thinking, guys. Positive thinking. The power of positive reinforcement. Sift, Blood Divination, and Lightning Mare. I also feel like we can get that three Mare pack in this box. This is, this is going to be it. Instead, we got an Isolate so far, but... What are, you, what are you gonna do? All right. Fell Spectre, Skyrider Patrol, and Novice Knight. Three uncommons. Foil Reliquary Tower, that could be something. Followed by another Gore Claw. Yeah, sure. Is there a Hunter Cam? Is Hunter back there? No? Right. Did I start to open this pack? That'd be very weird if I didn't start to open this pack. Interesting. I might have to go back to the video and be like, did I start to open this pack already? Sleep Reassembling Skeleton and a Psychic Corrosion. And a Sigh. Hmm. 
Zombies. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. oh, another Death Baron. What is Death Baron going for? Like three bucks, probably? I, I doubt Foil Tower is worth that much money. Considering it's in this set, uh, it's probably n not that expensive. Psychic Tunneler, or uh, Aether Tunneler, Psychic Symbiont, and a Siege Breaker Giant. Not super exciting, but. Diagraph Ghoul, Surge Mare, and Stitcher's Supplier. And a Thorn Lieutenant. Uh, Johnny's Pride Mate, a Johnny's Welcome, and a Grave Digger. Let's see if we can get the actual Johnny in this pack. Nope, just one with the machines. Or one with the machine. One single machine. Singular. Four dollars for that tower. Alright, we did it. Nailed it. The junk almost pays for itself. Gravedigger, Blanchwood Armor, and a Tectonic Shift. Rift? Shrift? Followed by another sweet fraying omnipotence. One, two, three, four, oh, five, all right. We got uh, Gargoyle Sentinel, Seder Enchanter, and a Gearper Guide. Vivian Reed. And a Foil Plains. Not exciting, but the Vivian's nice. That's only two Mythics, right? Palladia and Vivian Reed, okay. Is that our third Vivian Reed? Okay. Not bad. Oh, I accidentally saw it. Oh, well. Hiramancer. Gaspark Twins, Hiramancer's Cage, and a Volley Veteran. Followed by a Valiant Knight. Must be Knights. Aerial Engineer, Aether Shield Artificer, and a Murder. Hey, look, another murder. Followed by a hungering... You know what? Doesn't matter. One, two, three, four. Folly Veteran, Nightmare's Thirst, and Switcheroo. And a missed collar. I think that's three out of four. Two, three, four. Oh, no nickel bulls. Boy, it's not looking good anymore. Once you get to like half the box, you're like, oh, it's, it definitely can't be in here, right? Brawl Bash Ogre, Exclusion Mage, and Novice Knight. For those, for those curious. Foil... Snapping Drake and an ox ox wand is what we'll just call that thing. Colossal Majesty, Vampire Sovereign, and Millstone. Okay. And a Banefire. Wrong card with Sarkon on it, unfortunately. Two, three, four. Yep. How many resplendent? I think two. Lightning Strike, Draconic Disciple, and Shield Mare. It's not looking good for our well, another another Lean and War caller, which I think is like number seven. <laughs> if you guys need any Lean and War leaders, I got I got you covered. If you guys need any Nickel Boluses, however, one in six boxes is where we're looking at here. So I make no guarantees for that. Having you covered in that aspect. Surge Mayor, Siegebreaker Giant, and a bookcase. Followed by, I think, Graveyard Marshal number four, maybe. Is 
It's definitely more than one resplendent archangel. Or angel, whatever, whatever the card is. Patient rebuilding. Coupled with a Vigilant Bailoth, a Skyrider Patrol, and a Bone to Ash. Alright. Gutter Snipe, Inferno Hellion, and a Ravenous Harpy. Foil. Gnarl Gastbark Twins. Don't care about that. Another Sigiled Sword of Valoron. Okay. We're getting low, guys. We're getting low. Three, four. All right, well. Got a Recollect, an Aegis of the Heavens, and a Psychic Symbiont. Sometimes there's no words. Regal Bloodlord, a Druid of the Horns, and a Mega Stand. Followed by another Vivian's Invocation. Probably number, I think that's like number 18. Vivian's Invocation number 18. All right. One Nicol Bolas is what we're looking at here. One, two, three, four. Nope. Got a Plague Mare, a Draconic Disciple, and a Rise. Cringe is right, my friend. And another Demon of Catastrophes, which should be a playset. I also have two of the, like, uh, textless promos. No. Oh. Vivian Reed Emblem. How fitting. I feel like this is going to be a demanding dragon. And I'm going to drink Gutter Snipe and Dragon Egg. It is not. It is a Wind Reader Sphinx. Which is not really better. Looking for one Sarkon. One Tezzeret. Or one Nicobolus. And all three are obviously... Obviously preferable. But let's be realistic here. We got a poison tip archer, a mirror image, and a recollect. Mirror image feels rare, but I'm glad it is not followed by it. Oh, prodigious growth. Good times. One, two, three, four. We got a Horizon Scholar, a Plague Mare, and a Dragon Egg. Man, where's this three mare pack? I just want three horses. And a Desecrated Tomb. Well, got there, I guess. It's close enough, right? Sarkon's good. I do like a good Sarkon. The problem is, if you're playing Sarkon in Standard, the one thing you want to do is use him with Nicobolus. Rexage, Aether Tunneler, and Switcheroo. I also think Sarkon's one of the cheapest Planeswalkers IRL. Is that correct? So I'd, I'd probably be better off opening the Nicol Boluses and uh, buying the Sarkons by themselves. Alright, we got Meteor Golem, a Johnny's Welcome, and Fiery Finish. Foil Supreme Phantom. That's kind of cool. And a Phylactery Lich. That's not cool at all. I think we have like six packs left. I think we can get one more Mythic out of this box, but I don't think it's going to be a Nicobolus, unfortunately. Because one Nicobolus in six boxes is really... That says it all, doesn't it? That's our M19 luck, isn't it? Uh, Declare Dominance Diamond Mare Thud. Okay. Sarkon's Unsealing. I think that's the playset of those guys. No, that's three Sarkons, not a playset, unfortunately. Uh, 
skilled animator, heroic reinforcements, and fell specter. Alpine Moon. I think that was four mythics in this box. We got a Sarkon, an Omniscience, a Palladium Wars, and a Vivian. Yeah, all right, so. Ideally, there'd be one more mythic. Five mythic boxes is, I think, where your average is. Yep. Oh. Two good tokens in this one. You got the Avatar token and the Nicol Bolas checklist token. And a foil in this pack, too. Boy, this is a, this is a real gem. You got a Fountain, a Vampire Sovereign, and a Dryad Green Seeker. Foil Bogart Brute. And a Gigantosaur. Okay. Three packs left. No Nicol Bolas. Two, literal two packs left to hit that Nicol Bolas, and I don't think it's happening, so. Boy, I, I feel like I'm being negative right now, but this is literally my luck when I open boxes, and I've, I've, I've actually wondered how I haven't learned my lesson yet. Depart a Deckhand, a Nightmare's Thirst, and make a stand. Followed by Isareth the Awakener. And one pack left to do it. One, two, three, four. <sighs> one Nicol Bolas is kind of comical. Uh, double cast, Volcanic Dragon, and Gift of Paradise. Magistrate Scepter, Scepter, card I don't care about. And the last, very last pack. Not a Nicol Bolas. <laughs> so... That's cool. One Nicol Bolas and six boxes. That's a realistic thing. Sleep, Lean and Vanguard, and a Psychic Corrosion. And a Mentor of the Meek. Yeah. All right. So, all in all, not great. Uh, I don't know if I'm thrilled with these pulls. I don't know if uh, that ended up paying for itself. In this case, I don't know if that's... If that's uh, one, one, you know, one chromium as well, which is interesting. Uh, one saving grace is that we did get the four Nexus of Fates, which I am, am looking forward to playing with in standard. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, I mean, otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys have been great. Uh, unfortunately, one Nicobolus and one Tezzeret and one Ajani in six boxes seems a little comical. Um, I might actually refrain from buying actual sealed product in the future and just buy singles because I'm going to have to look and see if the price would have cost me less. Um, and we'll see. I think it's an interesting experiment to figure out like what is the actual um, the lower cost, whether it's buying singles or buying the sealed product. Uh, because like I said in the past, like I would be able to buy a case of Return to Ravnica or Gatecrash. And this is this is specifically the time I remember um, where I was like getting a good, a good number of, of the Mythics from the set. So... Um, I don't know. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can follow me. You can check me out on Twitch and on Patreon by clicking the links in the description. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.